Hey y'all, welcome in. I am hopping on today from the camper. We are doing Rachel's scrapbooking uh, YouTube groups hop this month. This one's called Out and About and it's all about travel. And I thought it would be a great month to show showcase my traveling puppos. So this is River and that is Riley and we are on the epic lifetime trip, trip of a lifetime. I mean, it, it really is. We are pulling our camper through Alaska and Canada. So really, really exciting. These are our girls that travel with us. Um, they're so funny because they will curl up on each other in the back of the truck. We, um, we have the seats up and then they have a little bed that they keep pushing in the corner, no matter how many times I pull it out. And then this little one, especially if I have the window open, loves to get right up here and she'll stick her head all the way forward. So let's talk about what I've got going on. These are going to be my photos. And I have the June Hip Kit Club. So I chose this one because the kit is wild or wild and free, free spirit, travel. It's just kind of gen a generic travel theme but I kind of fell in love with some of these papers y'all know I love a good ledger not a hundred percent sure we'll see but my thought was what if I cut out a circle so you can see through it and then we have the doggy girls pictures and then around the circle maybe do the title which would be road dogs and maybe some journaling but yeah that's where I was kind of going and then I got to thinking I really like y'all I'm sorry I like I said I'm in the camper we are currently in Skagway and there is a fantastic train tour that you can take the only thing is it comes through town so every time it comes through town it honks so I don't know the schedule. Hopefully by the time we leave in a couple of days, I'll know the schedule and y'all won't hear the honk honk. But here's what I was thinking. Wouldn't these be neat if I could, inside my circle, figure out how to make them kind of look like mountain peaks by cutting them apart and then putting them back together? So I thought that could be really fun um, to do kind of a layered piece down towards the bottom. So circle and then have some of them stacked, you know. Anyway, that was the thought. We'll see what actually happens. I was thinking this would be the top piece and we would cut our circle out of this and then it would layer on top and we would see the sun shines through it. I don't know, it might also be neat if this were the giant circle and then we had these pieces on it. I don't know which way we're gonna go, but we're gonna have a giant circle, I know that. So, my friends, I am going to cut this microphone off, speed us up, and we are going to make a layout. Be back in a few.
here is our layout. International Doggos. So I did decide to make the, use the circle cutout rather than the frame piece. Added these really great zigzags to make them kind of feel mountainy ish and then yeah there it is love it love it love it i will have all the information for everybody else who's hopping down below as well as links to where you can see this on instagram facebook and here on youtube I hope that you enjoyed your time with me today. Make sure that you like this video so that others can find me on YouTube. And if you aren't a subscriber, now is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button so that you get my newest layouts sent to your suggested videos to watch. I do try to put out two to three things a week, including a weekly feature every Sunday where a group of friends get together and scrap lift a layout. So... Make sure you check out the links below. See what everyone else has done on our hop this month. Until next time, my friends, go make some memories. Bye-bye.